Hello friends, welcome back. In this tutorial, we'll learn how to save pandas data frame into an Excel file. There are two ways, and depending on the situation, one might be better than the other. We'll walk through both ways. You know, we do all these fancy analysis, but eventually we'll have to show the results to someone that might not understand Python at all. So Excel becomes the standard choice. At least that's the case for my work in the insurance industry, and I'm interested to know what other programs can you use to present your results other than maybe Excel and PowerPoint. Feel free to leave a comment below and share what software do you use. I'm very curious. Let's start with creating a mock-up dataset. We'll use NumPy to generate some random data and put them into two separate pandas data frames. So we're going to import NumPy as MP and import pandas as PD. Here are our two data frames. The first one is a 20 row by 10 columns data frame and the second one is a 10 row by one column data frame. So for the first approach, we're going to use a context manager. It goes like with pd.xrwriter and in the argument, we're going to put the file name as a writer and this file name mod sheet one is the file location and the file name, of course. So we're basically saying, okay, let this object be the writer temporarily. And this is only valid within this code block. When this code block finishes running, the pd.xr writer and the writer object will both disappear. And that's the whole point of a context manager. Then we'll call the data frame.toXL method to write to Excel. And the first argument is going to be the writer object, means that we want to write into this file. And then the second argument is going to be the sheet name, basically what sheet we want to write into Excel file. And for the second data frame, we'll do something similar, except that we're going to save the data into a separate tab. Let's run the code and check our Excel file. And we see that this index column here on both tabs are kind of annoying. So how do we get rid of it? Let's head back to the code. And in the two Excel method, there's an optional argument we can use. So we're setting the index to false. And once we add this, the index column should disappear from our Excel files. Let's run the code and check our Excel file again. Next, we're going to learn the second approach. And this is actually my personal favorite. So instead of using a context manager, we can create the pd.xr writer object and the argument inside is going to be the file path and the file name. So we can actually put data frames into this Excel writer object. And we do that by calling the data frame.toXL method, same method as before. But in this case, the first argument here is going to be the Excel writer object. And the second argument is still the tab name. And of course, we'll also add the index equal to false here. So let's do the same for the second data frame. And um, we're going to also save the second data frame into a separate tab. So up to this point, the data and the Excel writer are still in the computer memory. So uh, no Excel file has been created yet. And we need to call the writer.save function to actually write the Excel to the disk. And the reason I prefer the second approach is because um, it's more flexible and I don't have to save all my data frames all at once. I can just choose one to save the final Excel file uh, when I finish working with all the data frames, um, all the tabs. And because this example that we showed here is very simple and short, so there's probably not much difference between these two approaches. But when you work on larger projects, sometimes having this kind of flexibility that I showed in the second approach will be much better. All right, I hope you learned something today. And if you enjoyed the video, please hit that like button and let me know in the comments below which way you prefer to save your Excel files. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.